What's going on guys? I'm dealing with Constructor Culture and today I'm going to be talking about investing into some of the proper equipment of just anything with the snakes. So starting off like I'm going to be telling you guys um, how investing into a rack system I say is very much worth it. It's shown me that like because I've gone from the melamine to this from when I started and the snakes personalities and everything seem to be, and their appetites especially they have way more of an appetite in this and they just show to respond better of being in these tubs it's more enclosed it's not as um, bright so it feels like they're more in a burrow when they're out in the wild so they seem to do a lot better in this and yes it is pricey to invest into a rack system like this like an ARS or a freedom breeder but long term wise, these will sustain their price no matter what. And you're going to be putting expensive snakes such that are thousands of dollars and you're going to put them into a hundred and something dollar melamine rack. So I don't I don't think it's quite ethical in a way to put them through or put them into something that's not as suitable for them. Yes, it is pricey, but I 100 percent agree that you should put your money maybe don't get that one snake and get a proper rack system like this and you will see a great difference in the snakes um, personality and how they respond to things and so forth um, another thing that's a big thing to invest into is a, a good thermostat a lot of people will go on Amazon and they buy these cheap cheap Amazon like thermostats that they'll end up breaking after a year or so, or they do something and they just overheat. They don't have a safety mechanism in place in them. So one that I I'm personally have used and can vouch for is very good is the Freedom Breeder ones that you can go get from their website. And they are very good thermostats. I haven't had any problem. They also have a safety mechanism. I know they have a fuse in them. So if something goes wrong, that fuse will trip and it will pretty much save the rack. Your snakes are better off being a little bit cold than them overheating because your thermostat isn't regulating properly and it's shooting off. Um, another thing that I would say that's really, it should be invested into is proper like bedding and care for just in general of the animal. Um, I'm not, there's no bedding that's the right bedding in a sense, just what you personally prefer I would say. I use, I do use liners like these from, I don't remember his name. It, I'll put his name down here on the bottom and he makes um, liners that fit all these Freedom Breeder and ARS racks. Um, they go in like nice and snug with them all. So they fit perfectly and they work fine. I do use them on the smaller ones um, just for, cause it seems that I was going through a lot more cocoa and all that with these ones because if they go to the bathroom once, it's like half the tub sometimes that you have to completely change. So instead of just putting a lot of cocoa constantly into these when they would go, I started using the liners. They do well on them. If you, the only thing I'll say is when you're noticing they may be going in a shed, make sure to just give them a little bit of water from the water bowl, like pour it on them just to make sure that they shed out properly and everything. But other than that, they seem to do perfectly fine on it. It's no different. Snakes eat great on it. I've had no problem with it and I'm going to continue to use it with my babies at least because it makes my job so much more efficient. Um, for the bigger racks though, in the bigger tubs, I'll, I'll use Coco. Um, I've used the Freedom Breeder and I've used Refuge Chip. I like both of them so I can't say I have really a preference. It's sometimes hard to come by the Freedom Breeder I've personally I've found recently. but. I'm still, I'll still use either, whatever is available. They both work fine. Sift them out a little bit, get all the extra dust out of there and everything, and you'll be fine with them. Um, but they do work well with these bigger tubs for the simple reason is they hold them. Um, they contain a lot of the smell and everything that happens. And it, so your room pretty much isn't going to be stinking all day, but you also got to make sure you go in there and do clean it. It's very simple to do though, because all you gotta do is simply spot clean the area and just go through and just check each tub. It, you could probably do, depending how many snakes. For me, it personally, it will take me like 
30 to an hour depending how many tubs I have to clean out that day. Um, but it's not really that bad. It makes the job a lot easier on these bigger tubs especially because you're not sitting there doing a whole clean of the tub like you would with the smaller ones at least. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much what I would recommend that. Um, for just taking photos and videos, everybody nowadays usually has a very good iPhone or some smartphone of any sort. So you can take some pretty nice photos with them. So that's not a problem with taking photos. If you wanna invest more into like some of the cameras and all that to take even higher quality photos, go right on ahead. That is a great choice, I would say. Um, another good thing though is investing into like proper lighting and backgrounding for the pictures. Because if you, you can invest into a great camera, but it doesn't mean the qual or the picture's gonna come out to its full potential with the snake in there. Um, what I've noticed before I've gotten lighting and stuff is the, the pictures will come out kind of like, they'll have like a haze of like grayish. They'll seem like more shadowy. They'll, they won't seem as like pop. They won't have that pop in them. So investing into, it, it's not even very expensive. Like these lights right here that I just got not too long ago. Um, they are, they're on Amazon. I'll throw the name of them down here right now. So you guys, if you want to go check them out, go ahead and check them out. They'll also probably be in the description. I'll link all the kind of like supplies and things that I use down there, just so you guys can see what I'm using and how everything works. But the lighting makes a huge, huge difference. Okay. So another thing that I would say you guys would, it would be a great investment. I'm working on it right now. Um, I got a guy that he does like business cards and all that stickers, shirts, all kinds of things for branding. Another thing, good thing I would say is like getting proper cards or something so you can have a good layout of what you want your animal or all the animal like pairings, locks, all those things so that you probably know and makes it a lot easier later on. I'm working on getting a card made right now, most likely here pretty soon of so I can have each of these cards all labeled pretty nicely and I know what snakes what and who it's from, when I got it, and then like if any pairings I do with it, how, how much the snake is weighed when it's going, or when it laid and all that, so forth. So those are some things that I would say that are pretty good investments. They're worth, yeah, it's a little bit of money you're gonna be putting into it, I would say, but it's definitely worth putting that little extra dollar into your company versus just the, the animal. So you should, in the way, if you're spending two grand on a snake, you're not gonna only wanna put $100 into the rest of your stuff. You should, you should have a balance of where it, it meets in a point. Like this rack, I wanna say, I got it to here, to my place, for 25, I wanna say 2,500, which, yeah, it's pricey, but it's realistically in the long run, there is more worth of snakes in this that are much better off right now than like just being in a, a plastic or or even like a crappy melamine. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much all I got to say about investing into like some of the proper equipment. If you have anything else that you guys have used and want to tell me, just leave a comment down below. Let me know what you use and why you use it and so forth. Um, Make sure to subscribe though, leave a like, that comment down below of what you use. Um, follow us on IG at constrictor underscore culture and peace.